Hey guys, it's Mr. Baldwin here to teach you guys about transgression and regression all the way from the distant interweb. So again, really sweet mug showing a cool picture of transgression and regression. If you're looking for a birthday gift, there you go. Okay, so real quick, let's just go over where you're going to see different types of sediment. If you look towards this region right here at the waterfront, this is where you'd see a lot of sand. Okay, picture going to the beach, you'd see a lot of sand-sized particles. As you move out, there's less energy, so you're going to start settling a lot more finer particles. This is where you get your silts. If you move further out, away from the shoreline, you would get more limestones. The limestones take place because this is where you have coral reef forming. You've settled out all the sand, you've settled out all the, sh the silt, and you've got really clear, shallow water where you've got limestone that's being grown, essentially, through coral reef. And those are the basics. You need to know that to understand transgress transgression and regression. So let's take a look at transgression. Let's say at stage one, we have a shoreline right here. And as we move further out, we see that same sand, mud and silt, and then calcite, which is just the mineral that's present in limestone. If you went way further out, you would find a little clay stone way out towards the middle of the ocean. But we won't talk about that for right now. Okay, let's go to stage two. For our transgression, what we have is an increase in sea level. So when we increase the sea level, we get the sand, the mud and the silt, and the calcite, calcite start shifting towards the right. Okay, This is because we have deeper oceans, so we're going to have sand moving further up, mud and silt moving to the right, and calcite moving even further inland. Okay, Next we're going to go to stage 3. You guys should be able to guess what's going to happen to our sequence. Again, it should move further towards the right. Okay, see how my sandstone now is further up shore. My mud and silt is above my sand layers. And now my calcite is above my former mud and silt layers. Even right here, you can take a look, and if we looked at the facies, facies is just the sequence of rock layers we have present, we would have limestone on top, mudstone below that, and sandstone right below that. Okay, so you should see that sequence of limestone, mudstone, sandstone, that's going to tell you that it's a transgressive environment. That just means that the sea level was rising the whole time. Now let's look at and uh, now let's talk about regression. Regression is just the opposite. This time you've got a sea regressing or you've got sea levels that are dropping. Okay? So what you would end up having is an original sea level that might have been way up here. Okay? This sea level would start dropping or sorry, you would start having sand right near the beach. As you move further out, you'd have silt, then you'd go to your limestone. If the sea level were to lower, you would move these layers further out. So you'd go further towards the right in this case. So you'd have your sandstone, you'd have your siltstone, and your limestone. Now look on this one. We've got our siltstone above the limestone this time. Our last layer, we've got sandstone that's going to be closer towards the newest beach, so the most recent sea level. As we move farther out, we get siltstone. As we move even further out, we've got our limestone. Now let's take a look at our facies. We've got the coarse material, the sandstone, up towards the top. And we've got the siltstone under that. And then the limestone under that. So if we can compare these two. Now again, they're kind of flipped backwards, so one's going to the right and the other one's going to the right. It's just because they're mirror images of each other. But if you look at the facies, okay, the layers that are present, the coarse layers, sandstone to the siltstone to your limestone, would be in regressive. We're just the opposite if we're a transgressive. We've got limestone on top, mudstone, and sandstone. So we can use this to try and recreate the environment that was present during the formation of these. So we can actually look at these layers and figure out if sea levels were rising or if they were falling during the creation of these rocks. Hope you guys got some value out of that. It's really pretty simple. You're just looking at seeing if the sea levels were going up or if they were going down. You can use the rock record to try and figure out that. Have a good day. See you guys later.